Hello there, everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play with me, your host, Tim. And today, we have something a little less serious, but still serious, to play together. We're going to start playing Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. There's going to be some prep here that you can skip by adjusting the slider up here on YouTube to the appropriately segmented spot. In case you don't want to listen to me prattle on for a little bit about what this game is, how far I've gotten it, assuming that I've played it before, any house rules we'll be using or timisms that I'll have ongoing while we play this game together, and, uh, and that should do. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Bug Fables is a... I'm going to call it a JRPG, but that's not correct. I actually know a game, and have beaten a game, which is very similar to this, called Paper Mario? And I think it was the Thousand Year Door, if I recall correctly. And this will play very similar to it. We'll be following a group of heroes as they attempt to right the wrongs in the kingdom that they find themselves in. Gameplay will consist of a ton of, like, little... Uh, mini games? Let's go with that. Like, uh, we'll have to block according to a certain time. We have to press certain keys or buttons when uh, certain symbols are present on the screen. We gotta make sure that a slider is over a certain spot as it bounces back and forth in order to make attacks correctly and so on. It's great. <laughs> and the game also has a hard mode in it if you want to enable it by adding this one particular badge to yourself? It's been a little bit since I played the game, about two years or so now. Speaking of that, I got very, very far in Bug Fables. If you've played it before, then you will know what I'm about, how far I got, but I didn't get past it. I made it to the termites. So that's as far as I got. And I fell in love with the totally optional, completely don't have to do it card game <laughs> in the game. And I made several different decks and I was doing amazingly well uh, in that game. I loved it. God, how much fun is that? Stupid, addicting, collectible card games in these games that, uh, that they have that aren't part of the main quest. What the heck, like Gwent for The Witcher. But we're going to play some of that too when we eventually get to it. Bug Fables is not voiced to my recollection, although there might be sound effects for the bugs, none of them actually speak, so I'll be reading everything on screen for us. You should know that I don't like running everywhere, we will get the option to kind of charge with one of the protagonists? The, the, the protagonists are bugs, okay? Everything's bug. This is a bug world. <laughs> So one of the bugs will get a charge ability, uh, and I've seen a few people uh, play this game who were using it to like accelerate from place to place. I don't do that. We walk everywhere, so just just be aware of that. As such, though, I have played this game. I got really far in it. I did not beat the game, but I am a little bit familiar with it. So we should uh, be prepared that there isn't a whole lot that will be new, but there will be new things to me eventually, and I will tell you guys when we reach those spots. Anything else we should talk about? No, I think that's about it. I like reading everything, so there'll be a lot of that. This game will have a good amount of dialogue in it as well, like a whole lot of it. So, most of this game will... Um, the game is divided into segments where there's a lot of speaking, and then there'll be a lot of exploring dungeons using some new mechanic that you learn to help you navigate through them. So, or several new mechanics that you'll learn. So you should expect some of that as well, and I think... I think that does it. There may be a little bit of farming that I do, but I will try to make that entertaining for us to watch, or alternatively, I will just cut it out. And with all that said, I'm now off to check out my voice, and assuming everything came out well, we'll be back to start a new game. So, give me a second. Quick time events. They're called quick time events. <laughs> Why is it a hard time <laughs> thinking of the name of it? Holy crap. I spent like three minutes trying to describe uh, how the gameplay mechanics are for combat. Anyway, I'm going to end up spending another three minutes talking about how I talked about it for three minutes. Unless I stop right now. All right. So, checking on my voice, I think everything is coming out well. I've lowered the in-game dialogue and sound effects also, and by dialogue I mean there's little sounds which play when the characters are speaking, not actual voice lines. Uh, and this is... Nope, no one cares. Let's go ahead and start. You'll note, viewer, that there was no save there, even though I had mentioned that I had played this game in the past. 
and got rather far in it, actually. I would think I was fairly close to the end. But viewer, I did not want anything spoilery here at the main menu in case you have never seen this game before. So I decided to delete the save so that you wouldn't see anything here at the main menu. That's how dedicated I am. I also really like this game, so I, I honestly don't mind starting over from scratch again. It's going to be wonderful. All right, and now we're all set. I think this is the name of my channel. <laughs> Looking at whatever I see the name of my channel. Oh, man. I, I First off, I pray that's actually how I spell it. That's going to be really embarrassing if I got the, even this wrong. But I never use the name of my channel for very much, do I? No one cares. Let's go ahead and start. Ah, the land of Bulgaria. A peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurers... Uh, wow. Many adventurous bugs gather. Although it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promises of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet the queen's dream still had not been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than the Everlasting Sapling, a plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched, but alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling, and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure. Even though to this day, the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. Or, at least, those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of her people helped me keep, advent keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they are not mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association, and all the explorers who risked their wings for glory, are proof of that. Then, Sir Maki, would you consider my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion. But I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Maki, I've bested many hardships in the North. Or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But I would ask you not to press the issue. Uh, this is not the place to cause a scene. What? Care to say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore. Much less snake mouth den. I'm not a kid! Well, so much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It's my duty to investigate. Hmm? Oh, well, if you insist. Moving around? Jumping and talking with people. Let's not keep the good bugs waiting. Etel, B, lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy's calling me a kid! Says I can't explore! Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child! Shut it! It's not about age, it's about skill! I'm V, the best explorer the hive has ever seen! I'm not some random bee! An explorer bee? Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Expected honey and paint? Uh, I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. 
This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I just can't give a permit to some bee, much less without a partner. Teams should be a duo of explorers, you know. I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey. V. What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lack a companion. What? Do I look that desperate? I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal! Wait, you two are just crazy! You won't last a second at Snake Mouth! I'll prove you wrong! No. You are both most likely mere novices, ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you would return inside a bag. Sir Mackey, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I... went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm. Very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? The Ant Queen herself, for she has knighted me the her royal blade. Oh, not again. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your horn. I was born ready. V, our opponent is no amateur. Would you like to review some combat tips? So, I think what might happen here if I say no need is that the game will skip explaining all tutorials to me, or the vast majority of them. This is my second time recording uh, the first about 20 minutes of the game, when I began, when I realized that, oh hey, these two were supposed to have some other dialogue to each other, and I'm not seeing it. I would like to see it. So on the off chance that they will explain some things to us, about how some other game mechanics work in a very cute way, or a way that would make sense for a group of explorers. We're gonna say sure for this. Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen, we can both perform one action per round, be it attacking, using the item, etc. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Uh, watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Holding a button? <sighs> Lame. Look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my boomerang. Uh, boomerang? See? We're both doing great. Don't let your guard down, B. After our turn ends, the enemy's next. I know, if I press A at the right time... Pressing A a bit before an enemy hits you reduces damage received. With perfect timing, it reduce even more damage. You have to get it within, like, uh, it's like half a second of when they're about to strike you. Like, you gotta be really on point to do a perfect block. Of course, doing too early, uh, your character will drop their guard, and then you get smacked for full damage. Doing it too late, and, well, you haven't actually blocked at all. So, if you don't think you can perfect block, just try to block reasonably well. Ow, what the heck? You trying to kill us or something? Huh. If you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Go home and guard Honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ugh, now I'm mad. We should pay him back tenfold. It's time for, to use a skill. They're just like attacks, but you select them from the yellow flower. Skills require us to use teamwork points, though, so watch for how many we have left. We should patch your wounds, too, using items from the blue flower. Talk looking commands using keys. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with a tornado toss. You can see the total amount of teamwork points I have in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The, cur the current character who's selected is on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and their icon is bouncing slightly. Uh, I think... Yeah, I can swap between characters back and forth. You can see that they're a little different. It, well, you can see the icon. Who cares? <laughs> Tornado toss! Let's do it. The teamwork abilities, at least the attack ones, tend to have a bit of a tricky quick time event. It's possible to do it imperfectly. You might still do some damage with the skill, but you really want to perfect all teamwork abilities that you have. 
I was looking at using two more points. Let's go ahead and use a taunt on this guy. Perfect block. Yes! Holy crap, zero damage taken. Oh man, that was awesome. Uh, let's have the attack and then we'll heal her with Kabu. Ooh, failed the block. S such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You performed well enough. I could feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I am no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Etel, you may grant it to them. I get no say in this, huh? Uh, Maki is the queen's blade. Here, you can have it. I did it! Stay where we did. Snake Mouth Den is going to be all mine. All the riches, all the glory. Snake Mouth Den. It lies to the west of the association. A simple path, although filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many treasure, huh? Mackie! Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? Uh, my apologies, Kina. V, Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. What a weird bunch. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. A fighting proudness. How many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess. From the hive near the big tree. Oh, I'm Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago, from the north. Cool. Uh, indeed. Um, Sir Maki said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah. Let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Uh, hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of the Snake Mouth Expedition is, right? I know. And we had heard about the Everlasting Sapling, but maybe that's not what's in Snake Mouth. So, we'll say no. What? You'd go there without knowing anything. It's like asking to perish. Shh, Etel, just say it. Your goal is to find an ancient artifact that is fabled to be inside Snake Mouth Den. Many tried, but no one ever found it. Most never came back. I don't know what the Queen wants with that, but she is very determined to find it. We will find it, don't worry. Yeah, I'm on the case after all. This is what worries me. Chapter 1. A Dysfunctional Trio. Tutorial messages. Alright guys, so... Let's go ahead and cover a few things really quick before we get going. Here's our characters down below. You can see their current and maximum hit points. Over on the right, we can see how long we've been playing for, as well as our current amount of teamwork points, how much experience we have towards the next level, how many berries we possess, which is the amount of... Uh, that, that's currency in this world, and how many uh, silver berries we possess, which are a unique currency spent on other, more difficult-to-acquire things. We could take a look at our stats and equipped items for our characters, how much damage you do, how much defense they have. We'll cover that later. We can also see our, uh, well, various information. We'll read that later. That's a bunch of lore stuff. You guys know I love reading lore. We'll do that uh, separately in their own videos. You guys, as I've warned early on, I believe, in the introduction for this video, which I recorded like about a week ago, by the way, uh, that I mentioned there's a lot of speaking in this game. And guys, there's a lot. And I love it. I love every single thing about all the dialogue and conversations in this game. It's really either adorable, it's filled with lore information, and they did a great job having the this adventuring group feel like an adventuring group as they communicate with each other. And with all the others. They all have, like, a really great amount of personal personality, for uh, to describe this, to call it. Individuality for everyone here. And I really love it. So we're going to speak with everyone that we see. 
probably multiple times. And then, later on, we'll get the option to have our party talk amongst themselves about the people they're talking to. There's going to be a lot of talking. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, Aerie, why must Mackie be so dreamy? Have you gone mad, Gen? Uh, Jen? Is that right? Gen. Gen. It's Gen. He's so arrogant. You tell her, Aerie. Pompous as he was. He was at least kind enough to test us. Oh, no. Uh, he does that to everyone. You see this once a week. Oh, Maggie. Such a show-off. Ugh! That stupid role-playing wannabe gatekeeper, I'll show him! Ugh, this will not stand. I shall challenge him to a duel to the death. Our honor on the line. H hey, uh, you don't have to go that far. Oh, uh, he's just kidding. Uh, right, Kaboo? Uh, yes, uh, uh, of course. Kidding. I was most certainly just jesting. You better have been. Let's just go, Kaboo. He's out of trouble. And far away from Mackie. Believe it or not, in this room, I did not realize I could jump up here until I had, I think, finished the first two bosses of the game, or maybe even three, before I realized that you can actually speak with this guy right away. And he has something that we want. Anyone who has an exclamation mark over their head is something you really, really want to interact with, or a person you want to talk to. So let's go ahead and uh, speak to these two. We'll speak to the Hornet with a really interesting outfit. Hmm. Good showing. Not many stand Mackie's blade. Why, uh, thank you. I assume you've endured it as well? Anyone who belongs to this association can say at least that much. Oh, so everyone here is crazy strong. Or they found a reliable partner to carry them. Oh, are you trying to say something? Not at all. If you're offended by it, it only shows your insecurity. What's your deal? You want to fight? Enough, V. We just got granted a permit. Let's not get into trouble. Ah, fine. Heh. <laughs> Good luck, you two. You'll need it. That's so interesting that he says what he said, because I know a great deal more about this particular bug. Let's, uh, let's keep going. No more spoilers. Ugh. Finally done. Sometimes work just doesn't stop coming. Uh... Okay. Who are you again? Excuse ya. I'm Artis, and I keep this place running. Oh? Uh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, yeah. Thanks. So, you two face Mackie, huh? Bet you found it a tad too easy. You know it! Heh, <laughs> I see you like... I see you lot like challenge. One sec. I have this, uh, one thing here. Somewhere. Ah, here. Please take it. You got the hard mode medal. Down below, I, I just skipped that. It said, uh, grants. The enemies become much stronger, but we gain extra XP and additional rewards. You got a medal. These artifacts help you by giving you different effects. To equip medals, go into the... Okay, who cares? Yes. What is this? A medal? Let's say it should make things more interesting for you. The higher the risk, the higher the reward, as they say. If you defeat any powerful enemies while wearing it, come see me, all right? I won't say no to free stuff. You've got a deal. Thank you for entrusting us with it. Take care, Artis. Safe exploring, folks. Remember to check in every now and then. Okay, so the very as, as I mentioned, the first time I had played this game, which I guess was the only real time I played this game beyond the first like 19 minutes we're doing now, uh, I didn't realize that was an option for the first at least two bosses. I think more like three. And even then, I found the game challenging enough that, well, I'd never equipped it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait a little bit until we reach the Snake Mouth Den, and then we'll equip it. And we'll see how much more difficult it makes the game at that point. If it's beyond us, we can always take it off, but I'd like to give it a try. I've heard it does make the game significantly more difficult. On that note, if you defeat the boss while wearing that medal, I think you get a unique medal in return from the sky. 
and I think it's dependent upon the boss that you kill. In other words, every single boss you kill with this hard mode medal, I think gives you a unique medal in return. And welcome to the world of Bulgaria! Holy crap! <laughs> Let's get started! And anyone who has an exclamation mark over their head is someone that we want to make a beeline to and speak to immediately. Hey! Why are you hitting that crystal? You can break it, you know? Huh? You really don't know? Just tell us why. Uh, forgive my partner, Celia. Her mouth is most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct. They can store the record of previous travelers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will even heal your wounds. You expect me to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock. Yeah. You are one of little faith. Come on, Levi. Show him. Would you like to save? Saving. Stand by. Save complete. It is done. Whoa! whoa. It really works. This must sell for a fortune. All you get for this crystal is prison. Oh, all you'll get for this crystal is prison time. <laughs> Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, uh, they are too heavy to be carried by a single bug. Ah, uh, there goes that idea. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them where we can be. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Best of luck. Best of luck. Oh, I just discovered I can walk. <laughs> well, we're probably going to go uh, at this speed throughout the game instead of uh, slower, shall we say. Oh, look at the snail. He's so tired. I like the tomato can he's carrying on his, on his back, too. There must be a group of travelers here. Last night, rain was really heavy. We are very busy clearing up the paths. Sorry for the inconvenience. The game's way of, of explaining why we can't go certain directions to start. Ugh! These rocks are getting in the way of our trade routes. If this isn't cleared soon, we will lose money. Get on with it, ants. This should never even happen. I understand my wife is upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. I just oh, that's it. That's all I have to say. Huh. I should have gone to the city earlier. I have to wait until this mess is cleared. Of course, you always want to explore everything and go everywhere you can in the game because of secrets. <laughs> heave ho, heave ho. I adore the little music in this area too. All right, but I know that there's no secrets here immediately, but there will be, I think, some later on. Let's continue to go to the west. North Ant Kingdom, West Snake Mouth, Snake Mouth Way, South Golden Path. But we can't go to the south. That area is also blocked off at the moment. We can't go east either at the moment. So, to the west it is. The path ahead leads to Snake Mouth Den. Currently, only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Permit that shows you are a certified exploration team under the Ant Kingdom. Huh. Alright, this checks out. I'll open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. May the queen watch over you. Alright, let's do it. It's so adorable. <laughs> it's so adorable. We don't have to fight it, though. We can ignore these creatures, but we should fight them. We want the experience and any treasure that they have. Okay, so, I need to explain... Actually, the characters will explain things to us as we play. So, I will wait doing any more speaking until they do so, as it were. But just know that you might see me doing a few things that might make sense or might not make sense to you guys watching at home and the characters will explain it to us later on uh, uh, I'm babbling no one cares I'm aware of the game's mechanics uh, pretty thoroughly considering how far I got I really don't like that my a key is apparently very very sensitive thankfully that is what I wanted to do berries 
Killing enemies gives you experience points, which is what you saw with those leaf symbols at the end of the battle. And sometimes, they give you berries. Uh, creatures give you less experience points as... Uh, creatures give you experience points uh, the way that they are equated to your level. Killing weaker things gives you less experience points, and eventually they'll give you none. But they can still hurt you, so keep that in mind. This is a flying creature, and we aren't allowed to attack it at the moment. But V can knock it out of the sky. And then we can hit it. A fantastic way to introduce you to the fact that you have to pay attention to that sort of thing. Oh, if we were to fall down here... There you go. The game will just place you uh, kind of back at the last spot you were safe at. What is this? Hey! Like attacking up close? On the way with enemies out of range? Ask a friend who can fly or toss something at it to bring it down. Press X to switch positions and battle and attack. Oh, okay. So the game has tutorials of that sort. Well, I just showed how that works. Red berries are worth five berries, the blue berries are worth one berry. Kind of the opposite of... Uh, actually, is that right? Nope, I was about to say something wrong. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, the blue, the blue rupees are worth five, the red rupees are worth twenty. Two enemies this time. We can kill one right away. But we can't kill the second. Blocked, but it didn't perfectly block, so we took one point of damage there. Gotcha! Sweet! I guess I can actually... Exp doesn't look like there's any secrets in this area. Let's move on. We should fight. We should fight every single thing we see. Let's do it. Hmm. Well, we can kill this one right now, so let's do that. I think. Oh, well, I would have if I didn't mess that up. We... We'll knock this one... Well, actually, we should focus. Good work, guys. Good work. Decent block. Not a perfect block. But good enough. curious what the hard mode would do to these first creatures, but until I get, like, a healing item, I don't really want to touch them. I, th I don't want to touch the, the hard mode badge. Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything alright? Hey, Kabu, we're supposed to be adventuring? Stake about then? Endless riches? Uh, sorry, V. I, I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, name's Chuck, and I bet I'm younger than both of you. But if you got to know... I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mount Den. I just... can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mount Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling. At least not for free. Hmm. Watch this, V. If I be near small bushes or rocks. 
Whoa, nice. Something like this is no match for my horn. Oh, B, you actually helped me. This made my week. You got a reward ready, right? But V, helping others is already its own reward. You didn't do anything. It's really, really not. <laughs> oh, no worries. Helpful bugs is a gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. Ten berries. Berries, so many berries. I'm gonna buy something nice later, all right? Thank you. We surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you're near something to be interacted with by using the horn, an exclamation mark will show over the party leader's head. So we can go back and now cut down this stuff. And sometimes, let's do one more. Darn it! <laughs> sometimes you might get a berry for it, or sometimes you might have to do that to actually get past. <gasps> past of it. There's a honey drop. Honey produced in the bee kingdom makes you happy, but also fat. <laughs> Restores five teamwork points. <laughs> ah, ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Want to know more about enemies or fighting? Don't forget you can spy using the strategies menu during battle. I forgot all about that. Actually, now I'm super bad reading those. Spying will tell us a little bit about the creatures, and also tell us a little bit about their, uh, well, give us a little bit of lore, and their hit points. We can also attack them, as you just saw, and this basically is an ambush. We do twice as much damage with our with the first character, I think, who acts? Oh, and who is in the front rank. Okay, gotcha. So... Let's have V now go to the strategies menu, which I swear wasn't here before, and we'll go ahead and do a spy on this thing. It's one of those stupid, annoying seedlings. They're all over the outskirts, but don't even drop good items. Oh, sorry, but don't even drop good items. Ugh. Let's just beat them up already. If we have two times damage, we should totally like, take advantage of this and kill this thing. Oh! It's not two times damage, it's two times attack. Gotcha. Well, we'll do it again. Note that he's a little tired. This is because he acted already, and he will do less damage if we use him again. But we can't actually swap to V. She's already also acted. Oh, perfect block. Nice. Take it, bug. V? Why don't we look at this one? Actually, we'll have uh, Kaboo look at it. This way, V can knock it down. Oh, what the heck? Don't do that. <laughs> Crap. Swap positions. Okay, so... Uh, I want strategies. Spy. Hmm. Seems this land has seedlings as well. Despite their adorable looks, they plague many fields and have no qualms devouring crops. Although weak and puny in comparison to me, their flying variation is troublesome, as I can't reach it. I'll have to ask V for help. Oh, did we already know about the- oh, we did already know about this creature. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's find it. Oh, perfect block! The characters do have, as you can see, unique things to say about the creatures that they encounter. Of course, I'm going to hack apart every single bush I come across. <gasps> Crunchy leaf! A dry leaf has a satisfying crunch one bit. Restores 40 points to an alley. An uh, alley? An alley. <laughs> I don't know if you can heal an alley. You can kind of repair them or clear them up of uh, what's in them, but you don't, you don't heal them. This is it. Snake Bout Den. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to rumors I have heard, it is the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song have been written about its dangers. F for real? 
Its interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters and death traps. You must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell it to me, Kaboo. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. Hmm. It is true that the artifact is lucky to be inside. But are simple riches worth such a risk to you? Stop trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. Let's make sure she stays safe. Oh. We'll do that by chopping down all of the trees. What is that? What is it? It's one of those silver berries. Crystal berries. You found a crystal berry. These are rare items sought by collectors around the world. Maybe someone will trade them for rare goodies somewhere. And they will. Yep, we said the get all of them. This is probably important as well. I don't remember if I figured out what the anthills do. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. <laughs> it's been, I think, two years since I last played the game. And we get a safe spot that also lets us recover our life. Now, once you save as well, the game will respawn all the creatures on you. So I think, before we go into Snake Mouth... Why not take a look at this hard mode medal? Boosts enemy strength, but gives you more experience and rewards. Let's try it. In this case, it costs... Oh, so th there's two things here. First off... Oh, I guess it doesn't... That's not the case here. I know you equip medals to a, a bug. In this case, because this one is zero metal points, it's probably just free to put on us. Let's see what happens, or how di well, not what happens. Let's see how difficult these bugs are, it, are now. Assuming that they're back. Oh, I lied. Okay, the bugs don't return. All right then. Well, we'll leave the hard mode metal on and go into Snake Mouth. It seems appropriate given the stories that Kaboo was just sharing to us about how it's dangerous. That will make it more dangerous. If it turns out that it is too tough, we can just take it off. Hmm. There is much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, uh, Kaboo. Do you really have to comment on... Every small thing? Uh, I, I'm sorry. H hey, don't look so sad. Uh, how about this? If I want to know more about where we are, or about something or someone near us, uh, just tap this button. Uh, sound good? Very well. I will make sure to have information at hand for when you do so. Cool. Let's keep going. So you don't have to do it. But if we uh, swap to V... Let's see. Let's think about then. It's quite dangerous. But this room's quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. <laughs> you have the party talk about things. And I planned it. Oh, ow! <laughs> I planned to do that for every, every room. Holy crap, that scared the heck out of me. Let's go, bug. Let's do it. Oh, they, they hit me with an attack. Wow. I did block, and that was two damage, even though I did so. Knock it on its back! Go get it, V. Probably should have scanned it. Anything secret over here near the camera? That was tough. <laughs> that was too damage, and I blocked. Holy crap. We, As you can see, we don't have much life, so we need to be careful. Some enemies have defense, which reduces the power of your attacks. Sharp horns ignore some defense, and can even flip certain enemies, negating defense entirely. Which is what we just did. I guess there's no way for me to look down there. Oh. Hmm. The bridge seems to be out. 
How are we going to cross? Well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, V, hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know. Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We see to hit it. You can just fly over to it, right? Uh, that's too much effort. I've got a better plan. My mighty beamerang. I just need to get in front with X and then press B to throw it. I will trust you with this thing. Give it your best shot. All right, so we make V the leader. And then we can use her special ability. We're just throwing the beamerang. Oh. I like their reaction. Uh, well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Uh, yeah, of course. Just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. She can also use this to attack enemies. And this, uh, she's a bit better at guaranteeing that we can get an attack off on an enemy. Oh, they have one more hit point at this difficulty. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so why don't we use a team point here? We'll use Tornado Toss to try to kill this seedling. can flip this over to make sure that it doesn't get a chance to attack. And then we can actually scan it. Which is a good thing to do anyway, since uh, instead of attacking it, since V's tired. What's up with this thing? It's like a spiky pill bug. Its armor is really strong, so I can barely hurt it. I bet Kabu can flip it over, though. Wow. Once again, that was a block and I still took two damage. Woo! Oh, there's only one berry! <laughs> it's not a lot of berries! Okay. Get lucky you find another another leaf somewhere around here. No, it doesn't look like it. There's some berries there. Let me get behind the rock. Okay, what do you say? Leave this place, for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Curses. This coziness was an illusion. Our path won't be easy, that much is for sure. No place full of treasure has ever been safe. So many have fallen looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly, so no one else ventures in here. And we'll do this for them. Hmm. I kind of don't want to fight that pillbox. <laughs> We're gonna, we'll try, we'll try. Worst case scenario, we, we die, we have to redo this. All right, so let's see. Hmm. We need to kill the pill bug, I feel. So let's have Kabu start and strike it. And then, V can hopefully kill it. And then, we can knock this one down. Ooh, failed the block. Wow, just like that, V's, V's in danger. <laughs> v, can you kill it? Drop. We should probably start using those, like, non-stop now. 
that were playing on hard mode, so we'll give that a go. Hello, hidden jump uh, device. There's nothing up here. That's a bit suspicious, though. Let's see. V? Or, yeah, V. If I throw this... That was probably useful. Let's see what it... What it dropped. A rock! There's another rock. There's two rocks. And a giant door. And there's two pedestals. Well... We can have Kabu do this. It's got to be on it a little more than that. <laughs> All right. So no problem. We'll do this, then we'll open that door. Uh, mushroom? What? We did all this for that! Seriously! It wasn't even a rare item! Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom! <laughs> Who designed this place? I will sting them in the face! I'll tear this place down! Uh, come now, V. Unfortunate as it is, uh, let's pick it up and start looking again. <sighs> Found a mushroom. A mushroom. Beyond average. Restores three hit points to an ally and cures poison. Huh? What? Ah! Whew! That was close. Oh! Oh! oh I'm. I, I'm sorry. I guess he is. Uh, oh, I guess I guess you wondered if Kabu was alive. Everyone, my button's very st tricky. I'll be placed. I'll be placed with the new controller when I when we hit the next save spot. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. And I'm his reliable teammate. I'm gonna regret this. No rush. Uh, I can wait. Oh. I am lucky this mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you, I am lighter than I seem. Uh-huh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree. And there doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We will have to look around. Must be careful, okay? You're almost a goner. I see the save spot, which is a perfect time for us to save the game. And everyone, we've been playing for 47 minutes plus the introduction, so it's been about an hour. It'll give me a chance to also replace this joystick with a different one and hope that the A button on it isn't as sensitive. So we'll stop here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the game. I'm going to probably record uh, another episode to have a tiny backlog of just one video. And then, when this one goes up, the second one will go up shortly after. And you guys can let me know how the volumes are. I hope everything's coming out okay, and I think it is. Anyway, nice again, and maybe I'll see you in the second one. Take care, everyone.